it's pleasant to be able to gaze at the Where do you get into the... ...upon those features in which all others may gaze at one of pleasure. Ah, I am very narcissist. It's no use. I can't live without admiration. Since Grove they came here, blandness has been in the print. Ah, oh, there he is. Ah, oh, Bunthorne. Come have a look at this. Graceful, isn't it? Let me. I haven't seen it. Ah, uh, yes, it is very graceful. Good gracious, no, not that. This. You don't mean that. Ah, I mean, no mood for trifling. And what is amiss? Grove, until you came in. Uh, wait. Ever since you came here, uh, you've entirely monopolised the attentions of the young ladies. I don't like it, sir. My good sir, Mr. Bunthorne, how can I help it? They're the plague of my life. Um. My dear Mr. Bunthorne, with your personal disadvantages. My dear Mr. Bunthorne, with your personal disadvantages, you have no idea what it's like to be madly loved at first sight by every woman I come across. So until you came here, I was a door. Exactly. Until I came here, I cut everybody out. I assure you, you can only suggest some means where, consistent to my duty to society, I can escape these inconvenient attentions. You would earn my everlasting gratitude. I will do so at once. However popular it may be to the world at large, your personal appearance is highly objectionable. It is? Why, thank you, Mr. Bunchel, thank you. How can I ever um, show my gratitude? By making a complete change at once. You must, uh, from henceforth, your conversation must be perfectly matter-of-fact. You must cut your hair and have a mullet. In costume and in appearance, you must be absolutely commonplace. No, sir, that cannot be. Take care, when I am forward, I am very terrible. <laughs> How can I help it? Um, I'm a man. I'm a man with a mission, and that mission must be fulfilled. I fear you are underestimating the consequences of thwarting me. I don't care what they are. Suppose I won't go so far as to say that I will do it. But suppose for one moment I was you curse. <laughs> Take care, sir. But surely you would not. I don't know. It would be an extreme measure, no doubt. Still. But surely you would not do that. Oh, Mr. Bunford, reflect! Reflect! You had another watch! Never! Then an art? I see that you did. On the memory of that art, I implore you to resort to error the last fearful expansion. Oh, Mr. Bunford, reflect! <laughs> I must not allow myself to be hard man. It is useless. Consent at once, or may nephew's curse. Oh! <laughs> Are you absolutely resolved? Absolutely. Will nothing shake you? Nothing. I'm an animal. Good. Then I yield. What? I yield. He's swear. I do so cheaply. I have long wished for a reasonable pretext, it's one that you suggest. I do it. On compulsion. Victory! I triumph!